Hey guys, welcome back to the Terrestrial Tech. I am Shubham and today we are going to talk about satellites, what they are and how they work. So let's start the video. A satellite is an object that revolves around a planet or a small celestial body. The satellites have been divided into two categories. The first being the natural satellites such as moon and the second one is artificial satellite which is the satellites made by humans. There are many natural satellites in the solar system in which every planet has at least one natural satellite. For example, Saturn has at least 53 natural satellites and between 2004 and 2017 it also had an artificial satellite whose name was the Cassini space craft which studied about the Saturn and its moons. Prior to the 20th century, artificial satellites existed only in imagination. But in 1957, the first artificial satellite Sputnik was sent to space which was sent by the Soviet Union. This thing put the western world in shock because they believed that the Soviet people did not have the capability to do so. In response to this achievement, the Soviet Union launched another massive satellite on 3rd November 1957 called Sputnik 2 in which the Soviet sent a dog named Laika to the space. In January 31st, 1958, the United States launched its first satellite, Explorer 1, whose weight was just 2% of Sputnik 2's weight, means only 13 kgs. Sputnik and the Explorer became the cause of the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States, which lasted until the 1960s. After that, these satellites became a tool to strengthen their political backgrounds because by 1961, both countries had sent humans to space. However, the two later changed their aims, where the United States landed the people on the moon and designed the space shuttle. Soviet Union launched the first space station, Salyut 1, in 1971. After that, many satellites were launched for different purposes. Some satellites made telecommunications and live TV broadcasts a common part of our lives, whereas due to some of the satellites, today we are able to use internet services. Now let's see how satellites work. All artificial satellites have four important parts. The first, power system which can be either solar or nuclear. The second is controller which is used to control its altitude. The third antenna which does the tasks of transmitting and receiving information. And the fourth and last part is payload such as a camera or particle collector to collect the information. Now two questions arises that how these satellites do not crash back to the earth and if there are so many satellites in space how would they do not collide with each other. So let's know the answer. A satellite is best understood as a projectile or an object that has only one force acting on it that is gravity. Technically anything that cross the Kármán line at a height of 100 km that is 62 miles is considered to be in space. And to prevent any satellite from falling back into earth its speed must be 5 miles per second. If a satellite is moving at a lower speed then it will crash on earth. Satellites that are orbiting near Earth are at a greater risk of crashing because the drag of atmospheric molecules reduces their speed and the satellites which orbit away from Earth have less molecules around them so they have a lower risk. So that is how the satellites avoid crashing on Earth. Now let's see how they avoid colliding among themselves. Today there are more than half million artificial objects present in Earth's orbit. These include objects ranging in size from a pinpoint to a fully fledged satellites whose speed is thousands of miles per hour. Of these, only a fraction of satellites are usable, that is everything else is space junk. And due to this space junk, the chances of collision also increases. Whenever space agencies have to launch something in space, they have to carefully consider the orbital trajectories. All space surveillance agencies monitor the orbital debris from the ground and if there is a danger of hitting a satellite with some space junk then they have to alert other agencies. Despite all these the chances of the collision remains and the biggest reason for this is the anti-satellite test performed by Chinese in 2007 that destroyed a Russian satellite in 2013. 
Also that year the Iridium 33 and Cosmos 251 satellites smashed into each other generating a cloud of debris. But now the agencies are working on the measures to reduce the space junk. Some people say that if the dead satellites were recalled in some way then it can work while some believe that we can refuel dead satellites and can reuse them. So that's all for this video. If you find this video interesting then like this video, share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. See you guys in the next video.